So I'm going to be covering Seventh-day Adventism. The reason why is because I notice that there are people who watch us online who are into a bit of the Seventh-day Adventist movement. So I'm hoping that throughout this discipleship, it can help them open their eyes about what's wrong with the movement. So let's start out with Genesis chapter 2, please. We're going to look at Genesis chapter 2. Now, one thing you're going to notice about the Seventh-day Adventists that I'm going to spend a lot of time debunking is the Sabbath. That's the big thing about Seventh-day Adventists, which is kind of a no-brainer. The kind of a no-brainer is that these people are called Seventh, see that? Seventh-day Adventists. So these people, they make a huge deal on the seventh day. Now, I'm going to give you a few beliefs that Seventh-day Adventists believe in that you probably didn't know about or you probably already know. So I'm not going to spend time debunking these particular beliefs because they were already debunked with the Jehovah Witness. So in our lesson on Jehovah Witnesses, you heard me debunk a few of them. So Seventh-day Adventists, here are their following beliefs. One is they do not believe in eternal damnation. They do not believe in eternal damnation. That was debunked on our Jehovah Witness video. They do not believe that a soul departs and goes immediately to heaven or to hell after they die. They believe in a doctrine called soul sleep. If you remember my teaching on Jehovah Witnesses, soul sleep is they believe the soul basically sleeps after you die, and then until the final day of judgment or resurrection, then they start to wake up. We deny this. We believe after you die, you immediately go to hell or you immediately go to heaven. All right, so soul sleep, they believe in that. Now, what distinguishes them from Jehovah Witnesses is that they do believe Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Ghost is one God. So they believe in the Trinity or the Godhead. So this one they believe, okay? So they are not the same as Jehovah Witness. That's why I'm going to box on that one. They believe like we do on that, just to let you know. Seventh-day Adventists, they make a big deal on diet and law of Moses. These people are so big on dietary rules and as well as the Old Testament law. We're going to debunk more concerning the Old Testament law matter, but these, are, these people are huge on dietary matters. All right, the last thing concerning about Seventh-day Adventists that you probably didn't know about, which is very infamous, but I kind of taught it to you at our Jehovah Witness class. They believe Satan is the scapegoat. Okay, now this sounds really blasphemous. Basically, they believe that I think they're worse than Jehovah Witnesses, actually, in this sense. Because Jehovah Witnesses, they believe in annihilation. If you are a lost sinner, they believe that you go to the lake of fire and poof, you're annihilated. But these people go as so far as to say that Satan will take the sins of all of mankind at the final judgment, lost and saved, and that they will put it upon this scapegoat, which is Satan. So Satan will be that scapegoat who will take the sins of all the world and cast Satan into the lake of fire. Now that is blasphemous heresy because we believe Jesus Christ is the scapegoat on our behalf who took our sins. And it is up to you to receive that scapegoat or you reject that scapegoat. It's not like some Calvinistic, Calvinistic forcible salvation where lost souls and saved souls, they get their sins on Satan anyway. That's not how it works. Okay, so these are the uh, main areas concerning about Jehovah, uh, not Jehovah Witness, Seventh-day Adventists that you want to keep in mind. There's one more thing that I would probably say. They were infamous for their rapture datings, just like the Jehovah Witnesses. So they were very bad on this one as well. So as a matter of fact, the Jehovah, Wit Charles Russell's people and LNG's white people, they one time got together before thinking that this rapture would hit on this specific date. So it shows birds of a feather flock together. See, evil communications corrupt good manners. See, these Seventh-day Adventists are not so Christian as you might think they are. They're very similar with Jehovah Witness. And Mormons, they're very similar with Masons. 
And in the Catholic Church, it's pretty much the evil of everything. You'll find any religion similar with what the Catholic Church teaches.